So let's say you've decided to apply for a critical skills work permit. Uh, in this video, we'll have a quick walkthrough on actually making an online application for this permit. Uh, but before that, I would suggest if you go to the official website of Department of Business, Enterprise and Innovation, you can find all the details about critical skills employment permit. So you can read all of that. Uh, let me touch base quickly on a few important things uh, on this page. Uh, so, you know, the first thing you should always check is uh, if your job is um, listed in this eligible occupations list. Uh, so you can, for example, if I'm a software uh, developer, then I can see that all the ICD professionals are eligible to apply for critical skills work permit. Similarly, all engineering professionals and so on and so forth. So once you verify that your uh, occupation is uh, eligible, then you need to also have a minimum salary of 30,000 per annum. Uh, that's, that's a requirement. Uh, along with that, there's another requirement, which is a two years job offer. Now, what does that really mean? In Ireland, when you get a job offer, it can either be a conditional offer letter or it can be an unconditional offer letter. A conditional offer letter is where you are hired for a specific time for a specific task, let's say for six months or for one year. Um, but in an unconditional offer letter, you uh, get an offer, you're on a probation for about six months or one year or 11 months, and then you continue work. So that can be considered as an offer letter, uh, and you can add these, uh, these details when making the online application, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, another important condition is the company needs to have 50% or more employees uh, that are EEA nationals. Uh, it, this can be this can be waived off in respect of a startup. So if you're if you're offered by a startup that was started in the last two years, then you can uh, have this waived off. Um, so once you're sure that you satisfy all these conditions, uh, you need to apply for this permit. Then you need to apply for this permit at least 12 weeks before. Uh, the start date of your employment. So let's say if you start on the 1st of September, you need to apply 12 weeks before that. Um, let's actually jump on applying for this permit. So like I said, let's select the employment permit from the list. You can see there are a lot of uh, forms here, but the one we are we are concerned about in this video is clinical skills employment permit. Uh, there are two types of those. Uh, a quick difference between standard employer and trusted partner. Uh, basically, trusted partner are those uh, companies, for example, SAP or Accenture, uh, who make a lot of applications uh, for uh, their employees. And in order to speed up the process, they're made trusted partners, so they hire third-party uh, agencies to uh, apply for permits on their behalf, uh, and this just this just makes the process a bit faster and avoids uh, repetitive paperwork. Uh, so you know you can leave that. Uh, this is where you are making the application. Uh, so you select the standard employer. Uh, I will add some demo details. You put in your passport details, um, and once you do that. You select the date. I will put in the details and say proceed. Once you do that, this is um, you know the online application form. Uh, you make sure you copy this work ID. Uh, this will allow you to resume work. So you can fill in all the details you want. And let's say you don't know half of the employment details yet. So you can save this as a draft, come back later and fill up the details. That's when you need it. Um, on this page, first thing you fill uh, or select is who is the applicant in this case you are the applicant so you would select foreign national um, and once you select that you are not an agent acting for the application so no say no to that do not click on form complete because you still need to fill in all these details uh, let's go to registration details this is just a confirmation for the details you just added so say confirm um, now registration details is where you need to uh, talk to your employer and get all the details from your employer. Uh, registration numbers, every em company has a registration number in Ireland. Uh, so you can get all these details from your employer. The important part of this page is number of EEA professionals working in the company and also the number of non-EEA professionals. So as one of the conditions was that you need to have 50% or more. So let's say there are 100 employees in the company, you need to have at least 50 
employees as EEA and let's say the rest are non-EEA. Um, once you get all these details, uh, move on to the next, uh, which is where you add your own details. So, you know, fill in all the details. Uh, the important fields in this, in this form are um, A, first this one. Uh, so is the foreign national currently in state? So let's say yes, which is where let's say you've come here for your studies now you've graduated you got the job and you're applying for the permit so you can put in that you know you've been here on your uh, let's say student visa which is a stamp to you know make sure you provide description uh, I'm just putting a short uh, description here uh, so you can add those details if you're on a graduate visa then make sure you add your stamp 1g uh, visa details right so I also provide your GNIB number I've added a video on visa types in Ireland so make sure you watch that to know more about GNIB um, this is an important field if you've studied in Ireland then put in your educational details as well uh, and then move on to the next section now if your employer has had any um, you know employees made redundant in the last six months then you need to select this as yes and provide details on why uh, why there was redundancy if not then just select no and move on to the details of employment this is where comes the next condition which is you need to have your employment for at least two years right this is where you add those details you say 24 months is what I expect to work with this employer um, and because this is an unconditional offer uh, you don't you, you shouldn't have a problem uh, and rest put in all the details um, about your job and, and the skills that you have, what's expected from you, etc. Um, and then move on to details of uh, your salary. Um, now, remember, you've not started work, so you don't have a pay slip. Um, your salary um, details can, you know, still need to be filled here. So how do you do that is you can use the Irish salary calculator. Uh, so you click on this. This is a very good salary calculator. Let's say your salary is 30,000. Um, this gives you a good breakdown of 30,000 gross income, your monthly, uh, weekly and daily uh, breakdown, along with deductions and how much you expect to take home. Um, once you have those details, put in your salary details here. Um, along with the breakdown, um, are there deductions? Say yes for tax purposes. So you, you can add those details, put in the deductions as well. Um, are you going to get any health insurance from your company? If yes, and there are deductions, uh, put in the details as well. Uh, number of hours per week, so you can have 39 because that's a requirement for this permit. So put in 39 uh, for that field. Uh, the last thing you need is where would this employment permit be sent? So you need to provide two places because every work permit has two copies. One is the original copy and the other is a certified copy. You get the original copy, so select foreign national current address and certified copy goes to your employer, so select person who has made the employment offer. Once you have filled in all these details, you've pretty much done your, your work. Um, Make sure you save it as a draft as well, just for future reference. And once you click on uh, form complete, um, I will see a bunch of errors because I've not filled in values. But once you, you click on that, um, what you see is essentially uh, a way to provide more details and documents. So for example, here, this is the user guide. Once you click on the sub submit, you'll see these options here print and sign so on some pages you'll have to sign yourself and uh, get your employer signature once you have those documents you submit and upload those documents um, and if there are any supporting documents like your passport uh, your p30 form uh, and all other documents check out my other video in which i've given more details on the documents um, print and sign those and once you've done that attach those documents and then make a payment the payment for critical skills work permit is 1000 euro so you make the payment using um, using your card. And once you've successfully done that, you will get an email of your application. And this would have your unique um, employment permit reference number. You need that for any future uh, queries. Once this is done, uh, you now have to wait for 
your application to be processed. Uh, you can always check the current application processing dates uh, on this website. Uh, and in this, you can see that as of 8th of May, um, the applications uh, submitted by trusted partner on 18th of April are processed, uh, whereas um, for standard, uh, 6th of March are processed. So you can always keep checking this quite frequently to know the status of your application. Uh, that's a quick overview of making an online application for critical skills work permit. Um, if you have any other questions, please leave in the comments and I'll try and answer those questions for you. Uh, this was a question asked by Rohit. I hope uh, that was useful. And, um, you know, please do subscribe to my channel for more information and share it with others. Uh, and uh, I will uh, make more uh, add more information in the next video. Thank you.